Hello, and welcome to the Network Technology and Security course presented by Infinite Skills. My name is David Miller. I'm going to be the instructor for the course. As you can see from this list of credentials, I've been in the industry for quite a long time. I started as a network engineer in the early 1990s with my first certification being that of the Certified Novell Engineer, the CNE. However, shortly thereafter, the Windows platform from Microsoft grew to a state of maturity where it was an acceptable corporate IT environment, and I focused then on the Windows NT4 certification. As you can see, I followed with the MCSE track and the MCIT Pro track with Microsoft for the rest of my career. In the early 2000s, I started focusing more on the security aspects of corporate networks because I saw this increasing new demand evolve. And I got my Security Plus, my CWNA for wireless security, the CISSP, the SANS equivalent of the CISSP called the GISP, and I became a qualified security assessor for the PCI data security standard. So this is a compliance auditor. I've worked a lot with Microsoft in the past as a subject matter expert. They've requested my assistance with several of their certifications, probably 10 to 15 different certification exams I've worked on. And I've actually written five books on Microsoft Press. I've been a network engineer the bulk of my career and started teaching in 1998 on the MCSE track. You can reach me at the email address shown on the slide. This is a list of the books that I've co authored or authored solely. The book on the top, the Certified Information Systems Security Professional on Microsoft Press is my most recent publication. However, as you notice, several of these books are based on the Windows operating systems, and the remainder of these books are focused specifically on security aspects of IT systems. I've done three editions relative to Security Plus, the Security Administrator Street Smart, which is more of a lab manual to actually implement the security components and concepts presented in the Security Plus certification. One of the books is on the security information and event management systems. Now, this is a system that aggregates the logs from virtually all of your IT systems, and that's everything from servers and workstations to routers and switches and load balancers and firewalls, intrusion detection systems, things along these lines, and then using artificial intelligence and synchronized timing on the event logs. This system will actually correlate slow and low very stealthy attacks that might be coming in from outside and also perhaps from the inside. This is a very sophisticated and relatively new security system that might be added to the corporate environment. These are just some of the covers of some of the books that I've co-authored or been sole author on. And again, the crowning piece on this, in my opinion, is the CISSP training kit from Microsoft Press. Again, recently published, and this is the Certified Information Systems Security Professional book, a very comprehensive study of how to implement effective security in a corporate environment. In this course, we'll start with a look at the OSI model. That's the Open Systems Interconnection Model from the International Organization for Standardization. Then we're going to look at a series of protocols that are part of what we would call the TCP IP suite of protocols. And we're going to take an introductory look at several of these core protocols that are used with our standard networks that we use on our corporate networking environment, as well as on the internet. Following that, we're going to look at transmission media and transmission technologies. We're going to be looking at how do the bits and packets and frames commute from one node on a corporate network through the routed environment to the destination node on that network. Next, we're going to look at the networking infrastructure. These are many of the core pieces that are essential to establish a functioning IT system. The next section is going to look at more the size and nature of these different sized networking environments. Everything from a very small personal area network, which is limited to about a 10 meter radius, all the way up to the wide area network that would span the globe. 
Following that, we're going to look at a rapidly evolving new area of networking, and this is wireless networking. So we're going to take a close look at how do wireless networks operate and how would we secure those wireless networks because they are inherently insecure, non-secure. And as a result, we need a special attention to securing them properly. And in the last section, we're going to look at different types of attacks that have been implemented on our corporate network. The more we understand the attacker's perspective and the nature of these attacks, the better prepared we are to defend our networks against those attacks.